AMD has been teasing the brand new Ryzen 7000 X3D chips over us for way too long. And us tech nerds cannot wait until we get our hands on them. And for good reason, the 5800X3D was game changing, so these new chips should be even more so. At least apart from one thing that's kind of, well, uh, bringing down the mood for the whole thing. And that is overclocking support. Now, AMD has always been stingent with overclocking on the 3D Vcache CPUs. The 5800X3D wasn't officially overclockable, but people did it anyway, just to make some engineered AMD cry. And so far, in all the brand new marketing for the 17950X3D, 17900X3D, and 7800X3D, AMD haven't mentioned overclocking whatsoever, because these chips probably won't be overclockable either. But then something interesting happened. Because for a couple of hours on AMD's website, if you went to the CPUs, they'd actually say that they were unlocked and ready to be overclocked. But that note very quickly disappeared from AMD's website. And now if you check out any of these CPUs, they once again have no mention of what the overclocking is like on these chips. Now while odds are that most average people won't have to overclock these things because, well, they're probably going to perform extremely well anyway. It's still kind of disappointing that this is something that AMD is leaving out. Now, don't get me wrong, it definitely looks more like a technical thing rather than just pure greed or anything, but it's still rather concerning. Because if we want these 3D Vcash chips to catch on, well, things like that will have to be ironed out. In an ideal world, by the time we get to the next generation Ryzen 8000 chips, the distinction between X3D and non-X3D chips won't even exist anymore because every single chip, at least higher end ones, should have free Vcash by default. But that kind of adoption is going to be way more difficult if stuff like overclocking just break. And yes, when the 5800X3D came out, the point could be made that the motherboards at the time were simply incapable of overclocking such a specific CPU. At the time, X070 was already an ancient chipset, so maybe it's just the motherboards that are at fault here. But wait a second! AMD just made this upgrade to a brand new socket and a brand new chipset. Now I'm kind of being facetious there because odds are it's not the motherboard's fault either, it's just kind of a combination of factors that made these chips so unoverclockable. And if that's the case, let's just hope that something that AMD will be able to fix by the time that Ryzen 8000 finally comes out. We interrupt that video to bring you some breaking news, because in the time that I've recorded that video, AMD has made a statement about overclocking on these brand new CPUs, probably to make me look like an amateur. In it, they clarified that memory and infinity fabric overclocking will be available on these CPUs just like on the 5800XVD, but they're also bringing to the table PBO and curve optimization. So it will have overclocking but only in the loosest terms possible, but more than that in the future. For now, back to your regular scheduled boring video. But are you excited for these brand new Ryzen 7000 chips regardless? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're still here, maybe check out our Patreon, which is going to be down in the video description below. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, Oki Beach, Justin Rage, Ellen Fronyak, Marvel Schroka, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lensby, Jesse Herbman, and Sharon Odkin. Down there you can find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't remember, to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.